What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we went through the SS hand, we did everything, and now it is time for us to go up against the gym leader right here, Lieutenant Surge, and uh, take care of a few other things here, you know, business and all that crud. Now, what you do need is a Pokemon in nose, uh, nose Cut, which I already have, and that is a good old Paris right here. Look at that. Slice it. Yes. Now, I do think, uh, no, there's nothing right there. So here it is, a Vermilion City Pokemon Gym. The leader is Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. That just screams America right there. Okay, bring it on. Okay, let's talk to the man that uh, believed in us, the only man that's ever believed in us. He's like, yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birdwater Pokemon or Birdwater type poke or Birdwater type Pokemon match poorly against electric types. Beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. Yeah, you're telling me. So, the Pokemon of choice for this whole episode right here will be Smasher. Yes, because as you guys can see, yeah, uh, we're not really gonna do much against this guy. So. Let's see, nope, there's nothing right here. Nope, there's nothing right here. And the key you actually have to find is in these trash cans right here. And uh, the confusing part is that you can look at every single one of these trash cans and then at the very end you find the key right there, but then like you're looking at like, okay, which trash can is it? And that, the one beside it. And that's the confusing part because there's a whole bunch of them beside each other. And well, look at this, nothing, okay. And this one, okay, so let's see, let's go right here. That'll be looked at. Here. Here. And, okay. How about here? Ah, here we go. So that's the thing right there. It's always in a corner, and it's the one beside it. Should probably be right here, and as you guys can see, everything got resetted again. Oh my god. I hate this. I, I really do hate this uh, puzzle right here. And yes, we're gonna, we're kind of going covert right here. This guy can't even find us. And well, there's nothing right there. Nope. How about now? All right, let's go right here. There's nothing right there. And nope. Let's see. How about this one? Dang it. And right here. Nope. And of course, it has to be at the corner. All right, let's battle this guy. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good at electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Hmm. Okay, you jo you joined this gym because you're lightweight? I don't get it. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on Engineer, uh, Engineer Bailey, and he's coming out with his Voltorb. As you guys already know, electric type Pokemon are very, very fast. They're one of the fastest Pokemon out here. What you have to do is actually defeat them with Dig or any kind of ground type uh, move, which. Yeah, I probably should have taught Smasher that before this. Now, since Voltorb doesn't really have an electric to attack, it does have Supersonic, which automatically takes 20 points, so just be aware of that. And here's the thing, too, when you're taking on a Magnemite now, it is not just an Electric-type Pokémon, but it is a Steel-type, which is weak against uh, Fighting-type Pokémon, so, as you guys can see, BAM. Yeah, that's right. That's how it feels, Magnemite. Alrighty, and there we go. Smasher grows to level 24. And, well, Bailey has been defeated. He's like fried. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go to this corner right here. And it has opened. Okay. This one right here. There it is. Okay. Thank you. That was easy. Okay, so speaking of which... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, you know, I would love to teach it Dig... You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and teach a dig. It's it, it it fits it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's see. Rock tomb, body slam. Let's go ahead and take away tail whip. So it's, it has a very very nice move set right here. And there you go. Bam! Smasher learned dig. Okay. All righty. So let's go right ahead and battle the rest of the guys right here. This is no place for kids. Not even if you're good. I'm very, very good. Okay, so here we go, Sealer. Dwayne The Rock Johnson wants to battle. And here we have the Pikachu. As many of you guys already know, effects do apply right here. 
and that means, you know, static and all that crud. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to get physical with this Pikachu, I don't want to be paralyzed or anything. And, well, look at that, okay, its speed has fallen. And, well, let's try it one more time. Rock Tomb, thanks to Brock. And, there you go, Pikachu has been defeated. Yes, Smasher, kicking butt, taking names. And, he's coming out with another Pikachu right here, so, let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see. I'll take that risk. Dig attack. Let's go. What are you gonna do, Pikachu? I gotta do much. And here we go, dig attack. And just like that, Pikachu has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. And well, Dwayne has been defeated. He's like, wow, you surprised me. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's see. Quick question of the day. Have you guys ever solved this puzzle before even battling everybody and then you accidentally press press the A button and, you know, you kind of triggered the whole garbage cannon and restarted the whole thing? I kind of did. Yeah, that's good old Draven right there. Alright, let's go. And when I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard tra taskmaster. Master. Masker. Master. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Gentleman Tucker wants the battle. Come in with Pikachu right here. All right. Bring it. All right, let's go with the Rock 2, or let's go with the Dig Attack right here. Of course, Pikachu using his quick attack. Still not getting poisoned. And, well, let's go right ahead. And, yes, they will be able to do that with the whole evasiveness and all that crud. And, well, we're going to be missing. Okay, Body Slam. Time to take the risk. Go ahead. And yes, we're not hitting this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Yeah, chopping us down. And yes, there you go. Poison point. That's right. Finally. And here we go with a body slam attack for the win. Okay, alrighty. And let's see. We have defeated Tucker. And he's like, stop. You're very good. Yes, I am. Okay. So let us continue on right here. Before doing that, let's go ahead and use a super potion. Again, make sure to get yourself a Ground-type Pokemon. It will work, especially right here, guys. Um, if you guys are going into like this gym with the uh, Nido Queen or Nido King, that is the best bet to go. Diglets are also an option. Hell, even Geodudes. It, you could po you, you could possibly evolve those Pokemon real quickly just to get right here. You do have the VS Seeker. Now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You don't live long in the- or you don't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric- uh, electric Pokemon saved me during the battle. Or the war. They set my enemies into paralysis, the same as I'll do to you. Okay, that seems like a threat. That seems like a challenge. And as many of you guys already know, I love this song. Alrighty guys, so here it is. We are battling against Guile himself, Lieutenant Surge. He does have three Pokemon. Voltorb, I believe Magnemite, or Pikachu, or Raichu. I could be mistaken. Let's go with the Body Slam. Here comes a Screech attack from Voltorb. That right there will lower our defense by, tw uh, by two points. And well, here comes a Body Slam attack. Nearly does it. Here comes a Tackle. Oh my god. You just got poisoned. That's right. Don't mess with this Pokemon right here. So here we go, Body Slam for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And look at this. Smasher grows to level 25. That is always good right there. And he's going to be coming out with a Pikachu. So let's continue on. Let's go right ahead. Use the Dig Attack. That way we don't get hit. Of course, Pikachu will try and use Double, tri double Team. And, oh, crud. Come on. Ready to the Pokemon guards that we can actually get this. And there we go. Special. There we go. And that's how it feels, Pikachu. Alrighty. And we don't get paralyzed, which is good. And here comes his uh, strong Pokemon, Raichu. This guy is going to do the same exact thing. Quick attack, uh, shock wave, double team. Yeah, this Lieutenant Surge is not the dumb one from the anime. And here comes its double team attack. And oh my god. That's the downside to the dig attack, guys. You have to actually hit this Raichu quickly, as quickly as possible. And just like that, critical hit. Throwing out that peace sign. Yes, guys, I am throwing it out. Look at that. 
Lieutenant Surge is like, Now that's a shocker! You're the real deal, kid. Fine. Take this Thunder Badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Alright. Okay, so the Thunder Badge cranks up your uh, Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. And we got ourselves a TM34. This guy right here is Shockwave. Teach it to an electric type Pokemon. A little word of advice, kid. Electricity is sure powerful. But it's useless, uh, useless against ground type Pokemon. Which is true. I mean, <laughs> he just found out. Anywho, that shockwave attack right there, guys, it is the equivalent, electric equivalent of Swift. And, well, let's see. Whew, that was a, or that match was electric. It was. Like I was saying, it is the electric type equivalent of Swift. It does not miss. And, yeah, use it properly with any of your Pokemon right here. And, well, you know, we'd normally be done right here. But, now that we defeated Lieutenant Surge... There is a little something something that we need to do. So I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick, and then we'll get to that little something something real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so we're healed, ready to go. And, well, before we talk to that guy, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our badges right there. Look at that. Three badges and all. I am feeling a little heavy right there in my vest area. Anywho, so after defeating Lieutenant Surge, talk to this guy. He's going to be like, oh, hello, Draven. How are you doing? It's me, one of Professor Oak's aides. Did you meet the other aide? He had a package from Professor Oak for you, Draven. Hmm. He said he looked. Uh, he said that he look around uh, Route Two, Draven. If you're in Route Two in the Route Two area, please look for him, which I will. Let's go right ahead and do that. So what you need to do now, guys, is go straight to the Diglett's cave, and. Yes, you will be able to find this individual. Make sure to have a Pokemon that knows Cut, because, yeah, you're going to be needing that guy. And, uh, yeah, if you don't want to battle any of these, uh, these, uh, what was it, these Diglets, yeah, you need Repels. And, oh, man, I almost had a heart attack right there. Yeah, thought I didn't have any Repels. Now, you will encounter a, D a Dugtrio a little bit more powerful than your Pokemon, so just be aware of that right there, guys. Dugtrio is a very, very fast Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Hopefully we don't get attacked. And crap baskets, we ran out of, uh, we ran out of repel. Let's go right ahead and do that. And, well, let's see what we got. Come on. Look at all these holes. And, well, we've encountered them, I guess. There it is. Dugtrio, level 29. A very powerful Pokemon. I am going to try and capture it. And, well, might as well capture it right now. That way I increase my Pokedex just a little bit more. And yes, this guy is a little strong. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal it. Let's go ahead and heal it and let the poison take its effect right here. So again, guys, the importance of catching Pokemon should be known. Uh, this game is all based about, you know, how many Pokemon you can actually capture to get some pretty good items. The experience share you won't be able to get until you get 50 Pokemon total, so just be aware of that. And there we go, we caught ourselves a Doug Trio, throwing out that peace sign. In battle, it digs through the ground and strikes the unsuspecting foe from an unexpected direction. Hmm. No, we're not, you know, naming it or anything, but we are going to be putting it in the box. So let us continue right here. And bam. We are in the exit. Alrighty. So, there's going to be a few things you need to you need to grab right here. I actually thought there was an item right here. <laughs> I'm thinking of Pokemon Crystal. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go into... Well, if you go into this house right here, guys, there will be an individual that will want an Abra for a Mr. Mime. Again, later on, I'm going to show an episode of uh, the Pokemon you can trade for in this uh, in this walkthrough, too. Now, again, make sure to have a Pokemon with Cut. Bam. Look at that. Cut attack does the trick. And... You're going to be finding a few things, like the Professor's Aid. Right here, talk to him. Hey, remember me? I'm one of Professor's Aids. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak has entrusted me with the HMO5 for you. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered all the data with at least 10 Pokemon? Yes, I have, and great! You have cut or own 27 Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go, and here it is, guys, HMO5 Flash. 
And well, HMO5 Flash is a hidden move, and uh, Flash lights up even the darkest of caves and dungeons. Another funny story, guys, as I was a kid. Uh, yeah. So, didn't know that 10 Pokemon can get you Flash, and I actually went through the rock cave uh, without Flash. I don't know how I did it, but I mem like I memorized it enough to actually do it. Now I just, you know, I, I always go get Flash because, you know, I don't really need that trouble anymore. I really need to know where I'm seeing. And, well, if you go right here, you're going to find yourself an Ether. It's always fun. And grab this right here. You get yourself a Paralysis Heal. And I think that's pretty much it. Could be wrong. There might be a hidden item right here somewhere. Come on. Hidden item. Nowhere. Okay, so let's go straight into Pewter City because we got one more piece of business right there. And uh, we're just going to be running using the cut technique. There we go. Haras, you're doing some great stuff right there. And we're going to be going right here. And bam. Cut technique has done it. And the last piece of business is we're going to be going back to Pewter City. And if you go right behind the museum, obviously we've never been to the museum. You go right here, cut this out. Bam. There we go. And go into this place right behind the museum. You're going to be right behind the, uh, well, the, the, the front desk. Talk to this individual. He's going to be like, shh, listen. I need to share a secret with, uh, with someone. I think this, uh, this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if a Pokemon could be resurrected from it. Hmm. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at the Pokemon lab somewhere. Where is this somewhere? Where? Lexi, shh, get that old amber checked. Now, I think if you talk to one of these guys, they will be able to teach you something. And let's see. Uh, toss, how about, oh yeah, this guy right here can teach you seismic toss. I don't know which Pokemon I want to use it on. I think later on I'm actually gonna teach it to somebody. Who, who right now will need it? Huh. Probably, the, you know what? I'm gonna give it to Leonardo. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy, mysterious place. So this guy right here teaches you uh, seismic toss. Keep that in mind, guys. You can only learn this once from the Pokemon teachers. And yes, Leonardo can actually learn seismic toss. And well, let's see. What move should it have forgotten? And it looks like to me. Hmm. I want to use Mega Kick for a little longer, so let's go ahead and take out Withdraw for just the time being. Eventually, you know, I'm going to be a little strategic with my Pokemon and all that crud, guys. So there it is, Seismic Toss has been, ta has been taught. And, well, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Here we are in Pewter City. So I'm going to be making my travel all the way back to Cerulean City. And, yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be going... Or we're going to be doing two routes at once, so... Or actually, yeah, a route and a rock tunnel. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot, guys. Just a lot. And I mean a lot. Anywho, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, heart button right there if you like this video and all that stuff. And, yeah, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.